Hello, this is Melody Pash, Dream Diva, and I'm with a friend named Kristen Lopez from New York, Delaware. We are on the East Coast, and we are talking to people about dreams and otherwise, and Kristen is going to share a very cool dream that's going to give some um, illumination on generational deliverance. So this is a really good dream. You're going to like it. So Kristen, share the dream with me. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna process it through it with you, through it with you. So I'm gonna stop you, and make some comments. Otherwise, we get to the end. I've forgotten everything I wanted to say. So I'm just gonna sort of stop you. We'll talk about it, and then I'll let you continue. So just tell me the beginning of the dream. Okay. So the dream was at my parents' house um, growing up. There was a sliding, we were in the family room, there's a sliding glass door in the family room and it was my mom, my dad, my five-year-old daughter, and my husband, Sam, um, just, we're just standing in the family room and all of a sudden I see a red snake outside, just outside of the sliding glass door. I, you know, I was alarmed. Sure. Um, okay, now, hold on. This is like your childhood home? Yes. This my is where you grew up? Yeah, my parents still live in that same house, but Okay. it All is right. where I grew up. All right. So this is going to be a, those are going to be clues that this is probably generational because it's about your family home and where you spent all of your formative years. Mm -hmm. So, in other words, mindsets, attitudes, belief systems that you, that were formed in you early in life, that, that's what all this is about. Okay. Okay, that all formed in this household. Then you've got your mom and your dad, you've got your immediate family, which is your daughter, mm -hmm. your husband. Yep. So your family is there, but we're talking about something generational. Now, it, this was out, the, the snake was out the sliding glass door of the back of the, the house. The back of the house. All right, so this is going to also be about what was established in the generational line oh, okay. or the bloodline from the past. We'll get more clues as we go, so go ahead. Okay. So it was a big fat red snake that was outside and like I said I was alarmed at first and I I was shouted to my dad um, look there's a big snake look at this big snake outside the door and you know we were all kind of gathered around the door um, and I felt it felt safe because obviously it's outside the other side of the glass but okay. all of a sudden it just kind of like transported itself inside the house and at that point I freaked out. Okay, so it comes inside the yes, house. Yes, it just transported inside. Alright, so this is usually going to be an indication that what was established in the bloodline is still affecting your family. Mm, okay. And it would affect your immediate family as well as your your family. Okay. You're the family where you were raised, right? Mm -hmm. Now, the other thing that I want to ask is, because this immediately came to me, mm -hmm. is there any area or level of anger or rage that has been an issue in the generation line? Because that's what I heard immediately. Definitely, yes. Okay. Um, my dad's side, of, dad's side of the family, primarily his mom... Definitely. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. So what what I'm sensing and what I'm seeing is that there is a has been has been a stronghold of anger or rage that has been in the generational line. Now this is interesting. The other thing I'm seeing is this, and you can tell me whether this resonates with your spirit or not. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it's almost connected to an identity thing. Where let me explain a little bit better. Where. Um, where individuals in the generational line that maybe felt like they weren't six 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 whoop, let me get rid of that where they weren't succeeding in something the rage was sort of a symptom of an area that was actually connected to <clears throat> excuse me, being invalidated, mm -hmm. uh, and we're feeling unworthy, yeah. self-worth issues, yeah. that kind of thing. Being and accused. that's 
That too, yeah. And maybe self-accusation, yes. you know, where you're not good enough, yes. looking in the mirror, you're not good enough, you're not, you're not performing, you're not doing what's, what's best, where mm -hmm. even the family, that's what I was sensing. Failure. Failure. It's all, it, it's absolutely, you boiled it down, it's all about failure yeah. and the rage that comes with, I just can't do it right, yeah. right? And then it turns into even a victim, an issue hmm. about victimization. Okay. So then those, not only is rage a stronghold or a power in the generational line, but you've got the self-worth issue, the failure, fear of failure. Yes. All of that then plays in. Yes. Does that make sense? It and invalidation. Sense. Yes. Invalidation. Okay. So mm -hmm. continue on. So I was scared once the snake actually sure. came inside the house. Yeah, that out. thing. My dad, my parents um, didn't seem to be all that phased about it. I okay. will mention my daughter Zoe. She she was the most curious and kind of like infatuated with okay. she wasn't scared. She was very curious. She was the closest one to the snake. Nice. Now interesting because we know Zoe means life. Mm -hmm. Right? So you're and did you say she's five? Yes. Okay, five and five represents grace. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if we're talking about the life of grace that is what creator is giving has given you he's working you through all of this and he's giving you the grace to do so hmm. so she may actually represent like spirit doing his thing yeah. right in your life which is kind of cool yes right yes. so that's probably an attribute of your own life and that she wasn't afraid of it but was more curious about it might be uh, more de a depiction of you know sort of I, I got this it's like hmm, I I see this I'm acknowledging I see this hmm. and isn't that the way spirit does he illuminates things for us so that we are enlightened and then we know that there's an issue that needs to be dealt with and then he gives us the grace to do so yes amen right yes. so very cool okay go ahead okay so my dad just like I said, you know, my parents were just kind of nonchalant about it. He okay. just grabbed it by the neck and picked it up, walked to the front of the house, opened up the front door, and threw it out the front door. Threw it out. I love that. Okay, that he grabbed it, number one, wasn't afraid of it, probably represents that this is connected, may represent that this is connected to his side of the family line. Okay. Which you did mention. Yes. Okay. The other thing is, he grabbed it around the neck, which would basically uh, take its power, right? Mm -hmm. Can't get bit mm -hmm. if something's holding onto your neck. You can't bite something. So he took its power, right. but he also used his will. Hmm. Think of it like that. Yeah. He made a decision. Okay. Right? Yeah. And made a decision that would affect you and your family because you're in the family room. Mm -hmm. Right? And Pat, the front door is going to represent either present or future. Okay. Typically both. So he's going to affect your present and future by taking the power from this. Right, this wow. issue of rage yeah. and this deception and the lies of all of that, the invalidation, victimization, all those things that go in that pot, right? Yeah. Together, that are companions together, yeah. that the way the enemy works, the opposition works, and he's going to throw it all outside. So he's going to take care of it, present and future. Okay, yeah. so go ahead. So, Love that. Uh, amen. So he throws it out the front door. He comes back into the foyer because we're in the foyer area Okay, now. good. He looks up and above him is a light fixture and he unscrews the light fixture and he pulls out a bunch of black little snakes. And he's like, oh, look, here's some black snakes. And he was kind of like, he was just, again, I was scared and horrified by it. And my sure. parents were both like, oh, <laughs> Here's some snakes. Here's some snakes. We'll throw those. That's so where he threw those out as well? That's where the dream ended. Okay. Alrighty. So I love this dream. This is a very cool dream. You have cool dreams, Kristen. This is great. So, so 
daddy goes to the to the foyer. Now, foyer is the entrance of all structures. Hmm. So think of it as an entrance or a door, right? Okay. Now, the way issues get in your bloodline is for a door to be open. Hmm. But he, your dad, who actually could be like superimposed, could also be like, you know, creator. Right? Okay. Creator God working on your behalf as well is taking the issues and putting them, taking them and releasing them from the house or the family line. That's that generational deliverance. And then he's throwing them out, shutting the door. So he's closing the door to those generational issues. Now, baby snakes or multiple snakes, little, like mm -hmm. to me, that you said that I heard nest of snakes. Okay. Right? So like the nest. So that's going to be like residual. But remember, snakes are more poisonous in their uh, adolescent and their juvenile oh. yeah, stages right. than they are as adults. Right. So they can be even more dangerous in their youth than in their adult state. So that, that immaturity, that place where they're still extremely poisonous, he goes in, now think of, he unscrews the light fixture, which means you're being enlightened. Hmm. But they're also in a power source okay. in your house. Yes. Where there's an entrance or a doorway, like a portal, okay. right, in your family line. Uh. And he's taking them out of the power source hmm. so that no more light bulbs, in other words, no more thoughts of those types of generational issues are going to have a place in your mind any longer oh. because they're being removed from that power source and they're being cast out. Mm. Very cool. That's good. So he's getting rid of them. Yeah. I love that dream. Mm -hmm. Wow. I have to... Yeah, I have to say I Does was a little bit a little scared bit? after oh, I sure. had that dream, but then, um, yeah, that, that brings a, a lot dream. of light to it. That's yeah. a great dream. Now, uh, one of the other things that I'm sensing is that uh, this is just a beginning for you. Mm -hmm. In other words, I sense that the, the now when did you have this dream, Mass? It was a... Maybe a couple weeks ago. If you oh, wow. Yeah, a couple weeks current. ago. Very current. Love yes. it. Love it. Okay, so what's happening that I can see in the spirit is what's happening is that you are not only experiencing generational deliverance in some areas and really without your having to work at it, do it, perform, you know, you don't have to really do anything. Hmm. Creator's actually taking care of it for you probably because of your desire Yes. To have those things cleansed out of Done. the yes. right there, you go out of the land of the bloodline, right? Yes. So what I see is that that's one of the last things that needed to be thrown out of the house hmm. is what I sense, yeah. and that that area is getting dealt with, and you're going to begin to see change not only in your own family unit but also in your parents based upon this dream and creator showing you that he's cleansed the house That's beautiful yeah it is right i love that mm -hmm. wow so you guys were just kicking some some stuff out of the house right yeah. <laughs> i love it thank you for joining thank you. and thank you for sharing that was an awesome dream and see it wasn't scary at all no but when we have those dreams it's like snakes right i don't want anything to do with the snakes yeah. thanks for joining me i appreciate thank it kristen you. you're awesome thank you for joining me and remember it's not just a dream